All right, so we, we just got off that long trip, and it was supposed to get, uh, I guess, colder last night, or at least I think it was supposed to. It's already 45 now, so it really didn't get that cold at all. I don't know if this is it, this is going to actually be cold enough to do anything, but the car was sitting unplugged overnight. But I want to go ahead and test out uh, DC fast charging. Unfortunately, though, there's a, a Nissan Leaf here who decided to use the, the, the two-prong charger instead of the uh, single-seat uh, Chatamo. So, let's see. Um, not enough power. You probably can't see this from the shadow. I don't know how long he... He's only been charging for 17 minutes. Well, I guess uh, that should be good enough. So basically what you do is you just press start and it will it will start when it's available and uh, not enough power power will start charging as soon as the other one is finished. So we basically have about 11 minutes if EVgo is consistent with their 30 minute cutoff which who knows. Okay, so as you can see uh you get a message basically saying delayed charging. Now he should start his charge session, or his charge session should end fairly soon. And the moment it does, our charge session will start. Now, I don't necessarily feel, you know, bad if he needed, say, more than 30 minutes. In this case, uh, we're not tying up the other charger, and ideally he should have been using that one to begin with. Um, but, you know, you never know, right? It, it could have been another vehicle here first. I'm just going to go in here and uh, you know checking in to, to plug share they have a they have a setting and actually I should see if I can show it uh, when you check in there's a setting that basically says waiting and uh, waiting for CCS and uh, and I might actually leave a message in plug share again this isn't um, to be insulting or isn't like meant to, to put someone on blast, right? But uh, Chatamo equipped vehicles need to realize that for the stations where there's a Chatamo only and a combo charger, they need to prioritize using the Chatamo first, always. Um, because there are just so many CCS equipped vehicles now. Um, that you're essentially, uh, by making the active choice to choose uh, the charger with both, um, you're, you're essentially tying up an entire station with one car, unnecessarily. So, um, so I'm going to go ahead and put it in that I'm technically waiting, and I'm going to put a note essentially saying, uh, um, you know, that a leaf is using the, the Chatamo um, CCS combo instead of the Chatamo only, so I have to wait. All right, so it looks like it started to activate. Um, fast charging came on. The indicator showed up, so um, <clears throat> so it looks like we're going to be able to. Uh, we're already fast charging now. I can just turn it on. And now I think he's going to, to realize that, yeah, he probably should have used the Chatamo to begin with. But, um, like I said, it's un unfortunate, but it's it's the way it is, right? It's, um, he, he should have probably been using it to begin with. But, we're also seeing something interesting here is that it is actually only charging at 32 kilowatts. Now, I know this station is a uh, 40 kilowatt charger. Uh, a 45 kilowatt charger, so I know that it should be charging faster than this. Um, so, so this is sort of demonstrating that, yeah, uh, even even at these temperatures, the mid 40s, letting the car cold soak overnight uh, is going to impact your DC fast charging. Um, it's still not super slow, but compared to what it should be, it, it's about it's about 10 kilowatts short of, of what it should be. As I watched 
the charge rates progress, what I noticed is it appeared to be in line with the expected voltage and it appears that what GM did is they restricted the cold battery charging rate to about a hundred amps. I also found it very interesting that it paused at 46 kilowatts charging toward the end of the charge for a more significant amount of time than it would normally. Okay so you know we're about 25 minutes into it now um, and uh, we're finally up to seeing the charging speeds that we would expect out of a 125 amp charger. And this is also sort of just validating, right, that that's what in fact this is, is a, a 125 amp charger. Um, now I, I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna stay the, uh, the full 30 minute session here um, only because I, I kind of wanted to, you know, see how it closes out. But we're finally getting up uh, to the rates that I, I would expect. And in fact, uh, it looks like we're going to go up to, um, up to close to 55% uh, during this session. So, and, and on a side note, we're, we're t we've ticked up to, to 46 kilowatts. So even though, you know, in, in like a lamb, out like a lion, as they say. So we, we've actually been able to, to speed up the charging rate, you know, pretty significantly, um, just in time to hit 50 to 55% battery. All right, well, our session just ended and it's, uh, it's gonna be time to boogie into work. All right, we got up to 48% state of charge, 19.84 kilowatt hours delivered in 30 minutes and 37 seconds. So slower than normal, 